With Hornby beginning their TT adventure once again, I thought I'd have a look at fitting one of their locos with a DCC decoder. But the first thing we're going to have a do is have a look at the power feed track. Um, in both the start sets that they've delivered they have provided this and it is for analogue use only. Uh, what I've done is pop the cover off it and inside you can see this large orange capacitor and that's there for radio interference purposes it's supposed to reduce sparking around the track um, but it will cause problems with DCC digital f um, if you feed it through this or if this is anywhere in the loop so I either open this up and remove this capacitor from its two solder points or just don't use this power feed track. Um, I would just solder some wires to one of the other tracks if you were converting over to DCC. So to change the locomotive decoder, the decoder socket is in the tender. It's a next 18, so it's an 18 pin small decoder. So I've got a Lens 10318 decoder there. Out of the box, this is what the decoder looks like, and that's the the next 18 um, plug and socket arrangement. I roll the locomotive over, back of the tender. There are two screws down here, one here, and one down in here, and I've undone those. So. In theory, should be able to lift this tender off. There's a couple of hooks at the front there, so just be careful, let those unhook, don't force them. So this is the blanking plug, so that, that allows the locomotive to drive on analogue power. I'll just pull that off, get the next 18 decoder, and put that in. Just about as easy as that. So I've got the tender body back on now and I'm on digital power. Just running on factory settings on the chip. Quite a nice smooth mechanism. You can program in inertias if you wish. There we are.